What's up you guys, it's Reyna and I'm back with another Age of Magic video. And in today's video, I'm going to be going through the six most relevant teams in the game, or at least the teams that I think are the most relevant in the game. And I'm going to be showing you guys the best counter squads against those teams. So if you're interested in that, then keep watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Alright you guys, so we're starting off this video talking about the infamous Archons featuring Sakrif here and all of her golden glory. So just a few months ago, the Archons were the most powerful and the most sought after characters in the entire game, but thanks to a few reworks and the introduction of a new faction, they can easily be defeated now with two teams that I'm going to be talking to you about today. So the first team is the Barbarians. Thanks to the rework, the Barbarians get a Rage stack, which increases their damage every time that they take damage, so they can easily defeat the Archons. And honestly, I've been using the Barbarians a lot when it comes to taking Archons in the arena or the tournament or clan wars, and they're definitely my go-to team against the Goldies. And the next team is Dark Elves. So obviously Dark Elves were introduced into the game to defeat Archons, and at first there was a lot of backlash about the Dark Elves, but I honestly think they do a really good job of taking Archons. And even with the new hero Lael, I think the Dark Elves' power just increased, and yeah, they're also a very great team to use against the Archons. Alright, the next team I'm going to be talking about is Dark Elves. Dark Elves have become really popular recently, I've seen them all in the arena, all in the tournament, all in Tomb of Horrors even, and I think one of the best teams to use against Dark Elves is Barbarians. Just like with the Archons, Barbarians just do so much damage and they can really just take down almost any team in the game. So I definitely think Barbarians are one of the most important teams to have. Um, because yeah, they can really just do lots of damage, even against the Dark Elves. And the second team that I would recommend using against Dark Elves are Beastmen. The reason for this is because Naja applies a lot of debuffs and Beastmen can take away so many debuffs with Wukong's leadership and Phoenix's first special ability. So Beastmen can definitely do a lot against the Dark Elves and I think Beastmen are a great team to use against Dark Elves. So the next team I'm going to talk to you guys about are Barbarians. Barbarians are one of my favorite teams to use because they're super effective and can defeat almost any other teams in the game. I always recommend to new players to start building up their Barbarians first because they're really just a great team to have. But with that being said, I'm going to talk to you guys about two different teams that can easily beat the Barbarians, um, starting with my personal favorite, the Wild Elves. The Wild Elves don't really have many AoE abilities except for Sandario, she has one, but other than that, they mostly have single target abilities. This means they're not really going to be adding a, a bunch of damage stacks on the enemy barbarians, and they're not going to be able to easily demolish your team like they do every other team. So the Wild Elves are definitely a great team to use against barbarians because they 3-star almost every single time. The next team that I want to talk to you guys about that can also defeat the Barbarians are Dark Elves. Because of Nausea, her second special ability basically makes all of the enemies unable to hide, so you can easily kill off Ballara, who's honestly such a pain because she takes away all your buffs and she really sucks, so you can easily take her out and then from there the battle is pretty easy and honestly the Dark Elves can defeat the Barbarians almost every single time as well. The next team that we're going to talk about are the High Elves. High Elves get a bad rep in the game because many people think that they're pretty useless, but honestly, I love the High Elves, and I find ways to use them all the time, especially in Raids and Tomb of Horrors. But the top two teams that can easily take the High Elves are Archons and Beastmen. Because High Elves basically revolve around Mizuhiko and him applying dots, Archons and Beastmen can both get rid of um, debuffs, so it basically renders the High Elves useless. So the Beastmen and Archons are definitely the top two teams to use if you're going against a High Elves team. All right, you guys, the next team I'm gonna be talking about are Beastmen. Beastmen are another one of my favorite teams in the game and I love using them, but when it comes to defeating them, I like to use Barbarians and Archons. As I've stated previously, Barbarians can defeat almost any team in the game, so it's really no surprise that they can take the Beastmen as well. And when it comes to Archons, um, it gets a little tricky, because in Sakura's passive, whenever an ally takes a critical hit, they get 100% chance to dodge the next attack on them. But what makes Suna so powerful is that whenever one of her allies makes a critical hit, Suna has 100% chance to make a support attack on them. But if you make a critical hit against the Archons, then they're just going to dodge all of Suna's support attacks, which basically makes the Beastmen useless. Okay, so the last team we're going to be talking about are Wild Elves. As soon as Gloriana was introduced into the game, the Wild Elves quickly became one of the most 
strongest teams in the game, and I still think that's true. But when it comes to defeating wild elves, I like to use two different teams. The first of those teams is Dark Elves. Now I know in Gloriana's leadership ability, she increases the damage that allies do to Dark Elves by 30%, but I honestly think this really doesn't do anything because Naja can um, make Gloriana unable to hide and you can take her out so quick, which basically just makes the Wild Elves useless without Gloriana. So the Dark Elves are definitely a great team to use against the Wild Elves. The next team to, I like to use against the Wild Elves are High Elves. Because of the dot stacks and also Damio can remove buffs, the Wild Elves really just crumble so quickly against the High Elves, and that's another team that I also love to use against them. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I try to make it quick, so I apologize if I was talking too fast throughout the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and feel free to leave a comment down below if you want to see any other Age of Magic content. And with that being said, thanks for watching, and have a great day.